Okay, and we're back. And still, I really don't want to push them very far in. I'm afraid to. Let's not have him attack yet. Let's have him kill the archer. That's a much better plan if you ask me. Level up for Oscar. And pull him back a bit. Lances do nothing to Boyd, so... Probably should use the Iron Axe for that one. I didn't bother to look at his HP. I thought he was at full. Move him in a bit more. And Lathe is back to normal, which is bad. Not bad, really, because now one, only one of them will steal my kills, but still bad because, you know, they're going to attack her. Like so. And sh she can't fight back. Again, I'll explain Lagoos when they actually join you. But when they're not transformed, they can't fight directly. They can't fight at all, actually. So, you know, keep that in mind. Are bad things gonna happen if I do that? Um, I think it'll be okay. I can have Rise heal him, so. Again, Rolf starts out pretty bad, I can't lie, but if you take the time to get him up to par, he is extremely, extremely helpful. You will love him oodles, or your money back. Let's just have him kill the mage and then run. Because once the mages are dead, it's pretty much over. Mm, this will almost kill him. Mordecai will probably finish him off. I want to attack with Mia because I know I can't really. And yeah, not really anything anybody else can do, so. See how this turns out for me. I had a feeling Mordecai would be doing that. Yeah, throwing spears at Lathe for no reason. All that missed healer because she needs the the experience, so Can any of my mages do anything without dying? Not really no, so since he's just kinda in the way there and I can't do anything about it. There's not really anything I can do, so I'm just going to end my turn. Why didn't he move? I'm going to have to move him, aren't I? Oh, there's the guy with the poison axe. Good timing of critical hit.
Titania get her 50th HP point. Hmm. So yeah, again, not anything I can do while they're there, so I will direct them. Target, come over here. Over there. And let that be it. Okay, now that they're out of the way, and I can actually kill things. Is that a bad idea? Yeah, that's a bad idea. Is this a bad idea? Kind of. Let's see what Oscar can do, because he can attack and then run away, so. Good job, good job, good job. And Miss can heal him. Not gonna have Marcia do the same. Even though she's not that great either, but. Or not. Yeah, let's not do that. Um, hmm. I think I'll have Ike do it. I suppose. Bam. Perfect. Oh, could that have been a bit more well timed? After that, well, I kind of skipped the conversation, but it was kind of epic, so that was very good timing, I must say. Okay, so this will work out pretty good. Actually, and then Rolf can get the kill. If this is nine seven percent and he misses, okay, good. I would have been so angry. Oh, well, for Rolf. That's very good. And then I will move Titania away. So, arm scroll, that's very useful. Move Titania away so they can't fight her. And then next turn I can win. Wraith is transformed again. They can't do anything because they can't reach me. We win. So yeah, not too hard of a level. So yeah, more war now that Dayan had the balls to invade Gallia. You know, this is gonna complicate things. More kind of oh yeah, and Leith and Mordecai are officially on your team, so I think this is the save point. Or is there another cutscene? Yeah, I thought so. 
Okay, I'm gonna skip through this, so or fast forward through it and I'll explain what happens. This is the King of Gaulia's Palace. Where Lynchy has been for a while. And behold the mighty King Cognegus. King Cog Cone his King C You know what? I'm just gonna call him Mufasa. And he's the King of Gallia. And yes. And Ike was born in Gallia, by the way. Because Grail and him were friends, and yeah. Anyways, I'm out of time, and I don't want to start another video for the cutscene. So, I will end this now. So join us next time, and we will be playing Level 10 of Fire Emblem. Stay tuned.